Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario 2 The Thousand Year Door. Or just Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, for those of you who really are adamant that it's not 2. Last time we finally beat the Boggly Woods, and hooray, hooray for that. <laughs> I'm so glad to be out of there. So now we gotta deliver the Crystal Star back to the Thousand Year Door, and we're just gonna ignore these guys because they don't give us any uh, star points. And now that we've got Flurry, we can blow away things like this. And we get the Happy Heart P-Badge! Slowly and automatically restore your ally's HP in battle. Not bad. Now you can't fly through the door as a paper airplane, unfortunately. Here we go again, Mario. Let's see that crystal star. Yeah! Ooh. Pretty. I never get tired of this scene here. Just the glowing floor. The crystal star is flying around. It's beautiful. So where to next? Well, that place looks interesting. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. There it is! The resting spot of the next crystal star! Totally awesome! But it looks like it's pointing somewhere up in the sky. Huh? What could that mean? Hmm. Gotta go back to Professor Frankly. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. And that door's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. In order to open that seal, we must have to muster the power of all the Crystal Stars. But the question is, why did they seal the legendary treasure away to begin with? I mean, were they just trying to keep it from being stolen, or what? No, that's not... What? That's not what? I DON'T KNOW! <laughs> Sheesh, Professor. I'm sorry. So sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming we'll just make an... Well, you know the saying. No, I don't, but whatever. How about this next crystal star, then? It's like it's floating on the magical map. Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's the pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but... Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. It's like... floating? Well, how are we supposed to get there, then? A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. What? What channels? Stop being mysterious! How do we get seats on the ship? Hmm... I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. So no problem, we'll just go meet this Don Pianta guy and we'll be on our way. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, an email! I wonder who this is from. Kupuk, hide and seek. 
What's up, Coops? After you found me, Coops, I found a nice hiding nook at a place called Goomstar pa Temple. It's so cold my shell is frosty, but it's a great place for hiding. Um... My C-stick is not working for some reason. There we go. Not sure why that was. Obviously, I don't want anyone to find me, but the thing is, I do want people to see how good I am at hiding. You see the bind I'm in? Anyway, spread the word. Come find the wandering hide and seek Koopa. See you later. Or not. Yours, Kubuk. Well, that was nice of him to check up. Anyhow, we've got some shine sprites now, so we can upgrade more partners. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. And yeah, which partner? So we got six. So we could upgrade both Koops and Flurry. The thing is, I'm not sure if we get free shine sprites in the next world. And I would really like to upgrade the partner in that world, but... I'll at the very least upgrade Koops. Still not sure if I want to upgrade Flurry or not. Oh. Yeah, might as well. Shazubi! Shazubi! I still haven't used Flurry in battle yet. <laughs> I don't intend on doing so anytime soon either. Oh. Then you may go. Thanks, Merlin. And now that we've beaten the second world, there should be more troubles open at the Trouble Center. So, yep, side quest episode. Alright, Puny Elder, Lala, and Pine T Jr. Let's start with Lala. This is the easiest one. The Pianza Parlor is now having its grand opening event. Whee! Whoever takes this request gets something special from Lala, the cute kitty boo. We're waiting on Rogueport's west side, so please come quickly. Want to take on Lala's trouble? Not really trouble, but yeah. This might be a shorter than average episode. Oh, well, or maybe not. Oh boy, it's Luigi! <laughs> well, I went to Rumple Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty nuts, old bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Rumple Bump Volcano. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I went several days fording through the dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit, to scare them off, you know, but as fate would have it. A blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after healing, hearing my tale. Now Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight to Rumple Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat and that'd make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil, evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic 100-foot-tall statue that stomped around. Now, it's weak. the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Now, I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you, man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo, saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumpled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Strudel Continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading out back soon. Oh, fascinating, Luigi. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Hey, you're Bluey, right? What's up? Hey there, I'm Bluey. And this guy's a total liar! Don't listen to him! You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped! And what happens? I end up landing in lava! LAVA, MAN! You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me! I'm well done! My pale skin's crispified! I'll never forgive this guy! I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime! 
That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. <laughs> yeah, always talk to Luigi's partners. They are hilarious. That's Luigi's blooper friend, Bluey. It's totally weird to find bloopers on dry land. He seems peeved, though. I wonder why he looks all fried to a golden crisp. Oh, poor Bluey. I feel really bad for him. And yep, now that we've got the super jump, we can find these hidden panels all over the place. Hey, dude, you got some more stuff for me? The timing tutor badge, which helps you time for stylish moves. Mega Rush, not buying that, because you can buy those from just the regular shop. Nothing here really interests me. Hey, is Lumpy still around? I could make another investment in Lumpy. He is? Ah, Mario, you come again! My dream is to get rich quick! I'm gonna strike oil and mid strike it rich! I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. Yeah. Thank you so much! Thanks, thanks, thanks! Alright, I'm not giving him any more. Because I think he's basically gonna max out my wallet now when he comes back. Anyways, we were going to the west side for Lala. La. Hmm. West side's nice and pretty. I like it. Ooh. I will check the lottery, but first I'm going to store some items. In coupon. I'll also just store a lot of my mushrooms. Gonna need those for later recipes. Alright, happy lottery! What is up? Today's winning number is 8835. Not even close. Sorry, it's an unlucky day. No matches today. But every day brings a new chance, so try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize. We get a mushroom. This guy is awesome. Really nice. Just don't make him mad. Mario's here to party! Hi! Hello there, Mario. Welcome to the parlor. Oh, you took on my trouble! That is so super! Well, okay, here's your special thing. Hee <laughs> Don't tell anybody! Hey, what's the matter? You look disappointed. Well, fine, whatever. Enjoy the parlor! Play and win! So we get ten free piantas, which is exactly the amount we need to play any of the games. I'll hold the uh, ten piantas for you, Mario. Now, I could play the Pianta Parlor now, but one of the other trouble requests that we fulfill will actually get us another uh, special card to play more games. So I'm going to wait until I get that. Alright. Oh yeah, Graffiti Board. x knots terrorizing Boggly Woods have withdrawn. Just what was their motive? Me! Graffiti Corner. Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him. <laughs> Toadette, the animal lover. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is great. Anything in this shop? Nope. Okay. And you're still saying, okay. I'm gonna check out the bad shop. Since I donated almost all my money to Lumpy, I probably won't be able to buy- Oh, <gasps> Power Jump! I can buy that. I can also buy Simple Fire, Super Appeal, that's a pretty good badge. I prefer Super Appeal P, though. I'm gonna buy Power Jump. That's the badge manager of the lovely house of badges. For a manager, she sure is gone from the store a lot. Where do you think she goes? Oh, that's a she. This shop's small, but it's totally adorable. She really knows how to decorate. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. That tail sure doesn't look familiar, doesn't it? Alright, back to the trouble center. We're gonna take on the puny elders, uh, thing. I'm getting up there in years, so I want me some insurance. A life shroom. I'm in no big hurry, but sometime before my time comes would be nice. Please meet me in the great tree in Boggly Woods. Yes. 
This is why I saved that life shroom that we got from Hooktail's castle. My name is Dazzle, and I'll trade my badges for any star pieces you have. Yes, we have ten of them, which is pretty nice. Flower saver. That can be good, not peekaboo. Yeah, let's get flower saver. Took a lot of star pieces to get, but I think that was worth it. Let's see, looking for my badges. Oh, Flower Saver takes four BP. It's actually, I think, less than it did in the first game. Ooh. Nah, I'm happy with the badges I have on. I already have the Super Jump ability, so it's basically like Power Jump. Out of my way, guys. You guys don't give me enough star points to be warrant beating you up. Welcome back to the Great Tree! Hey, Puny Elder. Oh, is that you, Martio? Are you here to ha listen for me to pontificate for a spell? Or did you bring me a life shroom? Life shroom. Oh, glory! You got one! A life shroom! Lovely! Thank you, Martio. And you made it before I actually needed it. Phew! Here, take this reward. A life shroom is like health insurance. I'll live a long life now for certain. And we had 60 coins for that, so that is definitely worth doing. That is a lot of coins. Also, while we're here, we might as well do one other thing. Aw, Punio's always getting in trouble with the Elder. It's no fun for me. Hey, hey, Mario, can't you play with me instead? Sure, kid. Yes! Okay, okay, this is so awesome. Ready to play Stump Petunie? You ask me any questions you want. There isn't an answer I... There isn't a question I can't answer. Come on. Create an easy question that Petunie can answer. All right, uh, Luigi decorates what tree trunk... For the heck of it! Huh? Well, what kind of question is that? I don't even get what that means! You have to ask a real question or it's no fun. Boo! Stump Petunie is over. So this is... It's really weird here. So basically, if you say Mario likes which person the most... The person Mario likes the most? Teehee! I know that! You can't Stump Petunie! Mario likes Princess Peach the most! Teehee! Am I right? Yes, I'm right! See, Petunia knows the answers to everything! Ooh, ooh, that was fun! Thanks for playing with me! Here, here's a present! Now we get a mystic egg! A weird egg that Petunia gave you restore, rep replenishes 5 HP. Please play again sometimes. So basically, if you exit and uh, re-enter the world, uh, you can do it again. This is the only way to get mystic eggs, and you need them for quite a lot of the recipes in the game, so... The more you know... And you do eventually get a shortcut there, so you don't have to trek all this way every time. But you do now! We don't unlock the shortcut until the, uh, we beat the next world. Alright, there's only one more trouble left to solve, and it's by far the toughest and longest one yet. Pine T. Jr., help my daddy. Oh, my dad is in a world of hurt down there! Please, you gotta help him! I'm waiting at the entrance to the Pit of a Hundred Trials beneath Rogueport. Yep! Don't worry, you don't have to do all of the floors. You do have to do quite a few of them, though. So it's risky to do that this early in the game, but the reward is very nice. You get one of the, uh, the next card for the Pianta Parlor. Which not only unlocks more another game, but it also unlocks more stuff that you can get as prizes. Now before going over there, we've got a couple things we want to give to Zesty. Want me to cook something for you, Clumsy Crush a lot? Yes. I have a mystic egg. Please cook this up. Sorry to keep you waiting. Not entirely sure you like this, but go on, take it, Stompy. We get a fried egg. Food made by ZST replenishes 10 HP, just like in the first game. Alright, what else do we have? And we'll cook up our slow shroom. Sorry to keep you waiting, I'm not entirely sure you like this, but take it, Snoppy. And we get a shroom roast, a dish made by ZST, replenishes 15 HP and 5 FP. That is the hot shroom of the game. Unfortunately, you can't make it by just cooking volt shrooms like you could in the previous uh, entry. And one last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cook up my dizzy dial, because I do not like dizzy dials, and I've got to make the mistake at some point. <laughs> that 
That's a good omen. Uh, unfortunately, that did not turn out quite right. Hey, it happens. Go on, take it, Stompy. Yeah, we get the mistake, as ST's failed attempt replenishes 1 FP and 1 HP. It's better than nothing, though. Alright. So I basically decided I'm going to pretty much need the entire next episode to do Pinty Jr.'s favor. So instead, I think I'm going to advance the plot, basically. Because otherwise this will be a really, really short episode. Let's go back here. Hey, dudes. You want something, chump? This is the Fortress of the Robo Thieves, you lost. What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. What's that? You want to meet that lion cheating, stealing no good jerky for brains, Don Pianta? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb. Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budget on the price, not a single coin. Inf inside info is pricey, them's the breaks. Alright, I'll pay. Y you'll pay? Really? Yeah, you heard me. Yes! I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Okay, then clean those ears out and listen here. There's a parlor in the west side of town that's run by that worm, Don Pianta. Go to the store next to the parlor. Buy the dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy dial. You got that? You do that and the shopkeeper's gonna ask you what your favorite color is. You answer yellow. You got that? Not green, not blue. Yellow. You hear me? See, yellow is the password for getting into Dom's scumbag's oh-so-comfy office. You got all that? Yep. Just talk to that again. But you don't even get your money back for that. So now I've got to make some money somehow. Hmm. Could I sell a badge? I could sell, like, my HP Plus badge, but that would kind of be bad. Hmm. Because Dizzy Dials ain't cheap. Hmm. Maybe I could sell one of these recipes I made, like the fried egg. What else have I got in here? Oh, I could sell a shroom steak. That would fetch me a good price. Forty-five for the shroom steak. That's pretty good. It is a pretty good item, but honestly, a lot of the items that I get end up I don't, like, end up using at all, so yeah. I thought Robbo gave you your 64 coins back after you paid him. Nope, guess not. Oh, also, <laughs> wait, Zesty, I want you to cook up the, mu uh, the mystery. If you cook a mystery, you could literally get, like, anything you want. Or not anything you want, but you could end up getting, like, anything. <laughs> I wonder what it's gonna turn up into. Alright, I got a mistake. I think I can st sell that for more than the mystery anyways, though, so... <laughs> no harm done. Now, I do still have two... Yes, I have exactly two slot item slots open. In here. Dried shroom. Dizzy dial. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister, what color is your mustache? Uh, yellow. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. 
Ahem. <clears throat> okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. <laughs> she unlocked the door by talking to it. You can go for the door. Go on with your bad self. Thank you. Hey, can I jump on the barrels? <laughs> nope. That's cool. Oh, boy. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out real quick, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want you want I should run this bum out on the rail, boss? Look at him, what a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You're just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's grumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got that? So, I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broad who got herself kidnapped? <laughs> and to rescue this home dame you out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things that legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Fairy tale nothing, that treasure's real. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure's real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Wait, what's the favor? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished. But it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to be still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, then you, all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Sh quiet, you! It's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy! I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss, whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah. Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francisca and Frankie look like this. I paint a very good word picture. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Uh, this is Rogue Oh. Can't I get a tattle on Don Pianta, though? Uh, yeah. That's the boss, Don Pianta. It's true what they say about power. This guy's got poise. But he's got a mean streak a mile wide. They call him the Dawn of Untimely Death. Still, he's got a really soft spot for his daughter, Francesca. That's Tony of the Piantas. This guy, there, <laughs> that guy, there's his brother, Vinny. They're super tight. Tony's a wise guy who doesn't mind mixing it up a bit, if you know what I mean. Oh, wow, okay. That's Vinny of the Piantas. That guy, there's his brother, Tony. They're super tight. They live for their boss. Seriously. They put their lives on the line for him. Well, ain't that nice. There we go. Is 
So now we've got to find Frankie and Francesca, or Francesca, however you pronounce it. They are at the dock right now. But man, I am low on coins now. That is not good. If I had not bought the Power Jump Badge, I would not have had to sell my Shroom Steak. That's okay. Hello, you two. Hey, back off, you creep! You want something, or are you just, like, sliding, sidling up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that! Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we just talk home like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out, we can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie! The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Of course. Sniff. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. That's Francesca the Pianta. She's well-connected, get me? Her dad's a big boss. She doesn't crave money or power or anything like that, though. She lives for love. Doesn't that, like, totally melt your heart? People could learn from this girl. <laughs> and that's Francesca's boyfriend, Frankie. He's the future of the Pianta Syndicate. Hard to believe, isn't it? Still, he's the number two guy after Don Pianta. You'd think he'd be this tough guy, but Francesca has him eating out of her hand. <laughs> How the tables turn. And it's obviously... It's, it's probably because she, her dad is the boss that that is the case. I know there's a panel around here somewhere. I also can't remember if there can be more than one panel in a, on a screen. Aha! Alright. What should we do, Mario? We have to at least tell Don Pianta something. But that stuff about our luck turning terrible didn't sound all that appetizing. Yeesh. Well, I mean, we do have a hammer, so we can just beat him to a pulp. He didn't look that tough, even though there are three of them that are all bigger than we are. But come on, I've got the charge badge and a mushroom. <laughs> like, what, what else do you want? <laughs> Alright, before we go back there, I want to change my items up. So, for example, dried shroom, going away. Mistake, going away. Other mistake, also going away. Let's see, out of all this stuff, we're gonna pick up Fire Flower... Thunderbolt... And a Mushroom. That should give us enough items for the Pit of Hunter Trials quest. Hopefully. You can buy more items down there occasionally, but... It's that they're also very expensive. Oh, look who's come back! The proverbial mustache! You wanna brighten my mood? So give, what do you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? <laughs> uh, I can't tell you that. What? I must be going deaf. Did you just say to me that you couldn't tell me? You come waltzing in here and say that to me? To me? Do I look like a sucker to you? I warned you, wise guy. Fine. We're gonna need a mop to pick up what's left of you. Daddy, wait! Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss. Uh, I'm sorry, truly I am. Frankie, so, back you come, head hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy! No, no, no! I'm the bad one! It's my fault! If you're going to punish anyone, punish me! 
No boss, it's all on me. It's my responsibility. I'll to blame right here. Daddy! Boss. Dog! Enough! Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you two, it's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go! Do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy! Dad! No, wait, I mean, boss! <laughs> Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go! Francisco, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats to both of yous. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay. Am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. You still here? Hmm. Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete, utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket like I said. We got a blimp ticket! A ticket for the airship that travels to Glitzville. Who knew? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's... happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Okay. <laughs> Later. I feel like I gave Don Pianta like five different voices in doing that. I wasn't sure whether to give him the super Italian voice or like a softer voice. Yay! Awesome! We did it! Now we can go to Glitzville! Yeah, but first we've got a little, uh, <laughs> matter concern. Oh, or an email. Koopley, how's life? Mario, Koops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology! Wow! I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring ten years ago, but now I see the world differently. I bet you'll like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Koops. So where are you headed next? I want to, you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you, but don't go too far past that front door. <laughs> from Koopley. Aw, that's nice of him. Alright. As I was saying, we've got a date at the Pit of a Hundred Trials for the last <laughs> uh, fe uh, favor. <laughs> and now we can go this way to take go to the Pit of a Hundred Trials instead of having to go across the Thousand Year Door Room. <laughs> Nothing, okay. Yep, we got Flurry now, so... There's this pipe. We can also walk this way, which leads us to here again. We can't do anything there yet, but remember where that is. It'll be important later. Oh, yeah. You took on my trouble? Oh, thank the stars! This is just terrible! My dad went into the Pit of a Hundred Trials and he never came out! He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the Pit's treasure. But I don't need treasure, I just want my dad back. Please help him. We will in the next episode. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you tune in then. It might be longer than usual. But, oh, I guess we have to use the save block here. That'll be an interesting episode for sure. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.